haven't seen it. I'm, we're in for a real treat with this next guy. I haven't seen him enough to know if he's PC or not. But I'm told he's fucking awesome. Give it up for my man, Chris. Chris. He called me pretty. That's, he just like made my month. Yeah, pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so I served for six years in the United States Marine Corps. Yeah. All right. You guys are all welcome for my service. Thank you very much. Uh, I always find it funny when people thank me for my service because your tax dollars pretty much paid for me to shoot guns and support the local uh, stripper population for a while. Uh, it was awesome. And you guys should be proud of that. A lot of those young ladies had children. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, people ask me what the hardest part about being a Marine was. And I have to say without a doubt, it was masturbating under very stressful uh, <laughs> Have you guys ever tried to get yourself off in 150 degree port body? Uh, I forgot I was in Florida. The guy back there is like, yeah, and? Uh, I'm 42 years old and uh, I don't have kids yet. And I'm kind of okay with that. Woo, woo. Part of the, yeah, dude. Part of the world is increasingly becoming a, a very fucked up place. But the other part is that I'm not quite sure I'd be that great of a dad. I, mm. I can't lie enough. You know, I remember all the, the well-intentioned lies that my mom told me. You know, everything from Santa Claus is watching you to stop playing with that thing or it's gonna fall off. Uh, all fucking lies. Every yeah. single one of them, right? And I think that's why so many people just don't trust the government these days. You know, if you do trust the government, you're kind of weird, right? You know, like, like the government even expects you not to trust them. That's why they have guns, right? But if you trust the government, you're kind of like one of those kids who caught their parents putting presents under the tree at Christmas time, but still insisted on believing in Santa Claus. Like, parents are like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? You know, what the hell? Uh, but uh, but seriously though, like why would you trust the government, right? Like why? Remember those Iraqi weapons of mass destruction? Yeah. Well, I was I went to Iraq in 2003, yep. and I was jerking off in a porta potty. We're trying to find those things. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Freaking hot ass porta potty, six straight months. Uh, um, but uh. uh you know, I don't know. I went to a concert a few months ago, and it was a Steve Roll concert. And Steve Roll is like this country slash rock dude. He's super like anti-authoritarian, super anti-establishment. And you know, I was ready to rock out. And then him and this other old hippie get on stage, and they're like, "We'd like to thank the good people at Pfizer for putting on this con yeah. this concert." Right, or for helping us to make this concert possible. And I'm like, dude, I don't care what your politics are, I don't care if you're pro-vaccine, anti-vaccine, but if you think that those sons of bitches in Big Pharma have anything more than a barren field of fucks for you or your children, you're out of your goddamn mind. Seriously. And now, you know, we're, we're trusting them with this vaccine for kids. That's kind of like letting a, Catholic, a group of Catholic priests be in charge of a Boy Scout jamboree. Right? You don't know, but, but somewhere along the line, one of those kids is going to get a really uncomfortable injection yeah. that's going to affect him for the rest of his life. <laughs> Go there, sir! Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> so I've got a girlfriend. I'm not single. She is in this room. She's a smoke show. She's 10 years younger than I. You know, I don't make a whole lot of money. I drive around a Honda Civic, and people always ask me, how the hell did I do it? Right? How the hell did I do it? And I tell them this. She is not from South Florida. She is from a bumfuck town in the middle of the desert where making $40,000 a year makes you a fucking wall. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. Her parents are teachers, and they're like the richest people in the town. But seriously, I love her to death. But she does something to me on a regular basis that I absolutely hate. It's basically the equivalent of raping me. Right? And she rapes me, not physically, which she can't do that. I would love that. But emotionally, right? The way all women rape me. 
emotionally <laughs> by trying to talk to me through the bathroom door while I'm taking a shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now, oh. Hear me on this. Men go to the bathroom with two missions in mind. The first is to take the biggest fucking dump possible. Why? Because you want to get up, you want to look at the thing, you want a real sense of pride before you flush that thing down the toilet. The second is to educate yourself, <laughs> to learn about things, right? You research your questions in there. Like, how do blind people know when their butt's clean after they wipe it? Or, you know, has the Dalai Lama ever been punched in the balls? And if so, yeah. did he hit back? Right? <laughs> That's when you look at porn that you wouldn't normally watch. You know, like, Ty Lady Boy gets double angel for two <laughs> hung black studs. That is not normally my thing. But that is definitely something I want to see how it works, right? <laughs> but being old is not all that bad. You know, uh, my girlfriend is a nurse, so most of the cocks she's seen have been on some really unhealthy people. And honestly, uh, my prostate's so clogged up, she doesn't mind if I come in her mouth because all she gets is a puff of air. <laughs> but she's a nurse, so sometimes I let her get in there and tickle the baby back. <laughs> But seriously, you guys have been awesome. I uh, want to say two things before I get off. Number one, uh, what we're currently doing here tonight is illegal in many parts of the world and in some parts of this country right now. Oh, what? All right, seriously. So to the comics up in Canada and Australia, who are currently telling illegal jokes on illegal mics. Big shout out to them. Big shout out to Weiss over here for putting this thing together. The other thing I want to say is that I'm proud of to save my life. So I want to give a big shout out here to Twisted Root, uh, making the drinks over here. These guys work their asses off. So please drink up and tip well. All right. So, uh, my name is Chris Conantasio. Find me on Instagram and Nice. Good shit. Give it up for my man, Chris, y'all. Nice. Hell yeah. And he's right, this is a really hard task to do.